Uh, so, you know, the way the way we have it broken out, I mean, if you look at this slide, um, the momentum factors that, that we identify, momentum is just basically mass times velocity from a, from a science standpoint. So velocity is all about energy and direction. So that's probably the number one thing that we check in with people on is, do you really know where you're going with your business? And a lot of people don't. I mean, a lot of people have left an unpleasant uh, environment to start a business because they were mad at the boss or, you know, they were displaced or whatever. But, um, you know, if they, if they really know what they want to do and how they want to help people and they can get a direction with it and they have a lot of energy and know how to share that energy with people, uh, that's really the best place to start. You know, it'll, it'll start uh, slowly and, and kind of build over time. So direction and energy is the most foundational uh, part of it. Uh, the other two uh, factors are, you know, you think about mass. Well, you know, what does mass mean in a business? It means to me having a lot of clients, uh, continuing to grow your client base. There's more and more people that love you, uh, that want to talk about you and continue to do business with you. You know, let's face it, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to sell some, to someone that's already bought from you than go find a new client. So uh, that's a that's a big emphasis. But um, another one is, uh, you know, as you grow, you're going to need the right people to do that. So the workplace environment is just critical. And, um, you know, when you think about adding employees and making sure they're all a good strategic fit to your core value system, to, you know, your intentions and all that, stuff, I think it's not easy to do. I mean, people uh, talk about it all the time, but, you know, it takes a lot of work. So those are kind of the drivers of it. You know, when you think about mass times velocity, those are the three things that we'd focus on and, Again, that really narrows the field of a million different options of what people should be worrying about to three basic things that are uh, kind of designed to build momentum in your business. Um, at the bottom are the, the places where you can really run into a friction point, like no matter how hard you're going, like if you run into one of these things, it's probably going to stop you dead in your tracks. And right now, business liquidity, I mean, everybody's worried about it. And liquidity is a big word for uh, cash in the bank and uh, having near cash available to get through the storm. And uh, again, it's an area that in my experience, um, people are not intentional about having a strategy for that. Uh, it's kind of, you know, I deal with what I have, but uh, thinking for the long term and, you know, what matters to your business, uh, sometimes there's not an intention there. And then definitely on capital structure, uh, you know, my experience as small business owners has been they borrow money when they need it. And they, there's, there's not, you know, for a long time, there's not a strategic design to how they add debt to their business. And especially now with a lot of the online lenders, you know, you run into business owners that have 12 or 13 different credit facilities. You know, they've gotten them online from online lenders that are just kind of added to them, friends and family, neighbors, whatever, you know, they're just kind of adding as they go. And you end up with uh, a structure that is not really uh, built around what the long term needs of the business are, but it's also very punishing at times. You know, some of these lenders online put on payback. Um, you know, there are, um, you know, very tight terms on things or high interest rates. I mean, there's a lot of places where, um, you know, just being a little bit more thoughtful about what you're trying to do and get your uh, minimum debt service down and get the longest term possible that uh, you kind of create an environment that you can operate in. The big point that I want to make on this slide is just that um, all of these require strategies. You know, I mean, we're you're in a broader game of business. Uh, you're trying to game plan things. We talked about the last dance earlier. You know, Bill Jackson had his own strategy with the Bulls. Kind of but, um, I think people get really caught up in the product that they're trying to deliver. And if you don't have a separate strategy for each of these things, your business can really be off course. And that's what we try to do in coaching is just say, you know, uh, for instance, you know, being in banking for 35 years, um, there are banks with very different strategies. You know, there are people driven strategies, there's tech strategies, there's product strategies. And really, you know, what's the model that you're trying to do the thing that you love to do the most in the market that you want? And do you have a defined client? Do you have, you know, and, and that extends to every, all of these. Um, once you have the strategy, it's really about uh, taking action and measuring results. And, um, you know, I'd say a lot of these end up being accidental or the things that people don't like to deal with, but in many cases, they're the most important thing that could, they could be working on. So that, that's kind of our uh, overall view. Now, the second slide, uh, I think this is um, probably even more important than the first slide, is that in the world of all that, so you get five different things, and each one of those things has multiple components to it. Um, people get so shut down by the magnitude of it that they don't take any action. You know, I mean, there's so many things going on in their business that they have a hard time parsing through, like, what's the most important thing for me to work on? So part, the big part of our process when we first start dealing with clients is, um, 
you know, what's the most urgent and what's the most important? You know, the old four, you know, quadrant grid is uh, of these five areas, you know, there are things that are probably important to you, but they might not be urgent. Uh, right. you know, let's, let's find the one that is, um, you know, important and urgent and begin working on that one. And these others you can take care of at a later date, but it kind of eliminates the noise from the system where people can get to work, make progress, and then decide, you know, what's the most next important thing for me to work on. And uh, it can be chaotic. I mean, I, I know you're a business owner yourself and uh, you, know, you think about all the different things that you work on and um, how you sort through that into the most important thing and then get tangible results as you, as you kind of go through that. So 